Section 1. Reaching for the Heavens. A History of Aerial Engines. The dream of flight is ancient. Humanity has always looked to the skies with longing. Yet it was only in the last century that we truly conquered the heavens. This conquest was made possible by a series of innovations in aerial propulsion, a relentless pursuit of more power, efficiency, and speed. From the Wright brothers' rudimentary piston engine to the sleek scram jets envisioned for hypersonic travel, the journey of aerial engines is a testament to human ingenuity. This evolution has been driven by a thirst for exploration, a desire to push the boundaries of what's possible. Our journey begins with the humble piston engine. This workhorse of early aviation, coupled with the iconic propeller, propelled humanity into the era of powered flight. But the quest for greater speeds and altitudes demanded more. Enter the jet engine, a marvel of engineering that harnessed the power of combustion to propel aircraft beyond the sound barrier. The development of turbojets, ramjets, and scramjets marked a paradigm shift in aviation. These advancements weren't mere incremental improvements. They represented quantum leaps in our understanding of aerodynamics and combustion. Each new engine type brought with it unique challenges and opportunities. Addressing these challenges led to the development of sophisticated design tools and methodologies. One such transformative tool is Computational Fluid Dynamics CFD, simulation. CFD has revolutionized the way we design, analyze, and optimize aerial engines. It allows engineers to peer into the heart of these complex machines, to visualize and understand the intricate dance of airflow, pressure, and temperature. This knowledge is crucial for maximizing performance, ensuring reliability, and pushing the boundaries of engine design. In the following sections, we will delve deeper into the world of aerial engines, exploring their evolution, their inner workings, and the pivotal role played by CFD simulation in shaping the future of flight. Section 2, the heart of the machine, piston engines and propellers. The earliest days of powered flight were dominated by piston engines, the same basic technology that powered automobiles of the time. These engines, often heavy and inefficient by today's standards, nevertheless proved sufficient to lift humanity off the ground. The Wright Brothers Flyer, for instance, used a relatively low-powered piston engine to achieve the first sustained, controlled flight. Piston engines work by harnessing the energy released from the combustion of fuel-air mixtures. This combustion drives pistons within cylinders, generating mechanical power. This power, in turn, is transferred to a rotating shaft. In early aircraft, this rotating shaft was connected to a propeller. This propeller, much like a rotating wing, generates thrust by displacing air, pulling the aircraft forward. While revolutionary in their time, piston engines had inherent limitations. Their power output is limited by the size and speed of the pistons. Additionally, their efficiency decreases at higher altitudes where the air is thinner. As the ambition of aviation grew, so too did the need for more powerful and efficient engines. The limitations of piston, engines paved the way for the jet age. Section 3. Beyond the Piston, Unveiling the Jet Age The quest for faster, higher-flying aircraft led to the development of the jet engine. This revolutionary technology, first conceived in the early 20th century, offered significant advantages over piston engines. Jet engines are capable of producing far greater thrust for their size and weight. This is because they rely on a continuous stream of accelerated air, rather than the reciprocating motion of pistons. The basic principle behind a jet engine is Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Jet engines produce thrust by taking in air, compressing it, mixing it with fuel and igniting the mixture. This combustion generates high pressure, high velocity exhaust gases. The expulsion of these gases out the rear of the engine creates a forward thrust, propelling the aircraft. There are several types of jet engines, each with its own strengths and limitations. Turbojets, the earliest form of jet engine, are relatively simple and efficient at supersonic speeds. However, they are not as fuel efficient at lower speeds. Turbofans, on the other hand, are a more complex type of jet engine that excels at subsonic speeds, making them ideal for commercial airliners. Ramjets and scramjets are even more specialized jet engines designed for hypersonic flight. These engines rely on the aircraft's high speed to compress the incoming air, eliminating the need for heavy compressors. This makes them lighter and more efficient at extreme speeds. 
However, they require an external means of acceleration to reach operational speeds. Section 4. Turbojets, powering supersonic flight. The turbojet engine, the earliest form of jet engine, played a pivotal role in ushering in the age of supersonic flight. Its relatively simple design, consisting primarily of a compressor, a combustion chamber, a turbine, and a nozzle, belies its impressive power and efficiency at high speeds. Unlike piston engines, turbojets do not rely on reciprocating parts, instead achieving thrust through the continuous acceleration of air. The process begins with air intake, where air is drawn into the engine. The compressor then increases the pressure of this incoming air, preparing it for combustion. In the combustion chamber, fuel is injected and ignited, creating a high-temperature, high-pressure gas. This energized gas then expands through the turbine, causing it to rotate. The turbine is connected to the compressor via a shaft, so as the turbine spins, it drives the compressor, ensuring a continuous flow of air through the engine. The hot, high-velocity gas then exits the engine through the nozzle, producing thrust. Turbojets are particularly efficient at supersonic speeds because the ram effect at these speeds helps compress the incoming air, reducing the workload on the compressor. Section 5. Ramjets and Scramjets reaching hypersonic speeds. While turbojets excel at supersonic speeds, ramjets and scramjets are the engines of choice for hypersonic flight, exceeding Mach 5. These engines operate on a similar principle to turbojets, but with a crucial difference. They rely on the aircraft's high speed to compress the incoming air, eliminating the need for a mechanical compressor. Ramjets, the simpler of the two, function efficiently at supersonic speeds. As the aircraft moves at high velocity, air is forced into the engine's intake. This ram effect compresses the air, preparing it for combustion. Fuel is then injected and ignited, creating a high-pressure, high-temperature gas that expands through a nozzle, generating thrust. Scramjets, or supersonic combustion ramjets, take this concept a step further. Unlike ramjets, where combustion occurs at subsonic speeds, scramjets are designed to handle supersonic combustion. This allows scramjets to operate at hypersonic speeds, potentially reaching Mach 15 or higher. However, both ramjets and scramjets require an external means of acceleration, such as a rocket, to reach operational speeds, as they cannot produce thrust at low speeds. Section 6, Turbofans, Efficiency and Power Combined. While turbojets, ramjets, and scramjets excel at supersonic and hypersonic speeds, turbofan engines are the workhorses of modern commercial aviation. They offer a balance of power and fuel efficiency, making them ideal for long-haul flights at subsonic speeds. Turbofans are essentially a hybrid of a turbojet and a propeller, combining the best of both worlds. Like turbojets, turbofans have a core that functions similarly, with a compressor, combustion chamber, and turbine. However, turbofans also feature a large fan at the front of the engine. This fan, driven by the turbine, bypasses a significant portion of the incoming air around the engine's core. This bypass air contributes to thrust, increasing fuel efficiency, especially at subsonic speeds. The remaining air enters the engine's core, where it undergoes the typical compression, combustion, and expansion process to generate additional thrust. Turbofans come in various bypass ratios, which refer to the ratio of air bypassing the core to the air passing through it. Higher bypass ratios generally result in greater fuel efficiency. Section 7. Dissecting the jet engine components and their functions. To truly grasp the complexities of jet engine technology, we must delve into the individual components that work in concert to generate thrust. Each part plays a critical role in the engine's operation, and understanding their functions is essential for comprehending the intricacies of jet propulsion. While the specific design and arrangement of these components may vary depending on the type of jet engine, the fundamental principles remain consistent. The air intake, often overlooked, is the engine's first point of contact with the airflow. Its design is crucial for ensuring a smooth, consistent flow of air into the compressor. The compressor, as its name suggests, is responsible for increasing the pressure of the incoming air. This is achieved through a series of rotating blades that compress the air as it passes through. The compressed air is then directed to the combustion chamber, where fuel is injected and ignited. 
This combustion process raises the temperature and pressure of the air-fuel mixture significantly. The high-pressure, high-temperature gas then expands through the turbine. The turbine, in turn, extracts energy from this expanding gas, causing it to rotate. This rotational energy is then used to power the compressor, ensuring a continuous flow of air through the engine. Finally, the remaining hot, high-velocity gas is expelled through the nozzle, producing thrust. The nozzle's shape is crucial for maximizing thrust by controlling the velocity and direction of the exhaust gases. Turbines are the unsung heroes of jet engines, responsible for extracting energy from the high-temperature, high-pressure gas generated in the combustion chamber. This extracted energy is then used to power the compressor, ensuring a continuous flow of air through the engine. Turbines are marvels of engineering, designed to withstand extreme temperatures and centrifugal forces while operating with remarkable efficiency. A typical turbine consists of a series of blades attached to a rotating disc. As the hot gas expands through the turbine, it impacts these blades, causing the disc to rotate. The shape and angle of the turbine blades are carefully designed to maximize energy extraction while minimizing aerodynamic losses. The turbine's rotational energy is then transferred to the compressor through a shaft. The design and materials used in turbine blades are critical to their performance and longevity. Turbine blades must be able to withstand extreme temperatures, often exceeding the melting point of the materials they are made of. To combat this, turbine blades are often made from super alloys, nickel-based materials designed to retain their strength at high temperatures. Additionally, turbine blades often feature internal cooling channels through which cooler air is circulated, further increasing their operating life. Section 9. Compressors. The unsung heroes of thrust. Compressors play a vital role in the operation of jet engines, compressing the incoming air to increase its pressure before it reaches the combustion chamber. This compression process is crucial for achieving efficient combustion and generating the high pressure, high temperature gas needed for thrust. Compressors come in two main types, centrifugal compressors and axial compressors. Centrifugal compressors, commonly used in early jet engines, utilize a rotating impeller to accelerate the incoming air radially outward. This acceleration increases the air's velocity, which in turn increases its pressure. The compressed air is then directed to a diffuser, where its velocity is decreased and its pressure further increased. Axial compressors, on the other hand, are more commonly used in modern jet engines. They consist of a series of rotating and stationary blades arranged along a central shaft. The rotating blades accelerate the air, while the stationary blades direct the airflow and increase its pressure. Axial compressors are more efficient than centrifugal compressors, especially at high compression ratios, making them ideal for high-performance jet engines. Section 10, Combustion Chambers, Where Power Ignites. The combustion chamber is the heart of a jet engine, where the chemical energy stored in fuel is converted into thermal energy, ultimately producing thrust. It's a place of intense heat and pressure, where fuel and air mix and ignite in a continuous, controlled explosion. Designing efficient and reliable combustion chambers is crucial for maximizing engine performance and minimizing emissions. The combustion chamber is typically an annular chamber surrounding the engine's central shaft. Air from the compressor enters the combustion chamber through a series of inlets and is mixed with fuel injected through nozzles. The air-fuel mixture is then ignited, creating a continuous flame that heats and expands the gas. The combustion process must be carefully controlled to ensure complete combustion, maximizing energy release and minimizing pollutant emissions. This involves optimizing the fuel-air mixture, the combustion chamber geometry, and the airflow patterns within the chamber. Modern combustion chambers often incorporate advanced technologies such as lean burn combustion and staged combustion to reduce emissions and improve fuel efficiency. Section 11, CFD Simulation, a revolution in aerospace design. Designing and optimizing aerial engines is a complex and challenging task, requiring a deep understanding of aerodynamics, thermodynamics, and combustion. Traditionally, this process involved extensive experimental testing, which was time-consuming, expensive, and often limited in scope. However, the advent of computational fluid dynamics, or CFD simulation, has revolutionized aerospace design, 
providing engineers with a powerful tool to analyze and optimize engine performance virtually. CFD simulation utilizes numerical methods and algorithms to solve the equations governing fluid flow, heat transfer, and chemical reactions. By creating a virtual model of the engine and simulating the flow of air, fuel, and exhaust gases, engineers can gain insights into the intricate details of engine operation that would be difficult, if not impossible, to obtain through experimental testing alone. CFD simulations allow engineers to visualize and analyze flow patterns, pressure distributions, temperature profiles, and combustion characteristics within the engine. This information is invaluable for identifying potential design flaws, optimizing engine performance, and reducing development costs. For instance, CFD simulations can help engineers optimize the shape of air intakes to minimize drag and maximize airflow, design more efficient compressors and turbines, and develop combustion chambers that minimize emissions and maximize fuel efficiency. Section 12. Mastering CFD, your gateway to the aerospace industry. The aerospace industry is undergoing a period of rapid technological advancement, driven by the demand for faster, more fuel-efficient and environmentally friendly aircraft. CFD simulation is at the forefront of this revolution, playing an increasingly critical role in the design and development of next-generation aerial engines. As a result, there is a growing demand for skilled engineers with expertise in CFD. Mastering CFD requires a strong foundation in fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, and numerical methods. A deep understanding of the underlying physics governing fluid flow, heat transfer, and combustion is essential for developing accurate and reliable simulations. Furthermore, proficiency in using commercial CFD software packages such as ANSYS Fluent, Star CCM Plus, or OpenFoam is crucial for applying CFD to real-world engineering problems. By gaining expertise in CFD simulation, you are positioning yourself at the cutting edge of aerospace innovation. As a CFD engineer, you will have the opportunity to work on some of the most challenging and rewarding problems in the aerospace industry, contributing to the development of technologies that will shape the future of flight. The skies are no longer the limit, they are just the beginning.